Rangers hosting the Royals. The Royals are plus 120 on the money line. The Rangers are minus 140. The over-under is eight runs. The Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 166, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Rangers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 138, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And whoever made the schedule likes to make the tongue twisters for this series because uh, they're having fun with it. This is like the third series. Now, uh... Singer pitched once against the Rangers. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won seven, one. He struck out eight. Evaldi pitched twice against the Royals last year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won 12, two. He struck out five. And then not a good outing. Five innings, six runs, six earned. They lost 10, one. He struck out seven. Weather should not be a factor because of the dome. Head to head, the Rangers are on a two game winning streak. They're seven and three against the Royals in their last 10. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorite has won the last three games they've played against each other. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. And the favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half, is 6-4. and four. There have been two run-run games in that last 10, the last game that they played against each other in uh, early May. The over is 6-4, and four, and the over 8.5 is 6-4. and four. The Royals have taken two out of the three games. Uh, the Rangers have taken two out of the three games they've played against each other this year in Kansas City. That's what I was trying to say. <sighs> the Royals are 3-2 and two in Singer's last five starts. They've lost his last two starts. The over is 3-2 and two in those starts. Five innings pitched, 6.2 hits, 3.2 runs, 2.6 of which were earned, 4.8 strikeouts, 1.4 walks per game, 1.2 home runs. He's given up a home run in his last four starts, and his last outing against the Dodgers, he gave up three solo shots. Uh, 88.4 pitches per game and 17 pitches per inning the road team is three and two in his last five starts and the royals were the road team for two of those games the yankees were the road team for the other one and they crushed him for the rangers they are three and two in of all these last five starts the home team is four and one in those games and the games that he won he was home uh, the over is hitting his last two starts. The under is three and two in those starts. Four and two thirds innings pitched, 3.8 hits, 1.8 earned runs, 5.6 strikeouts, 1.4 walks, 0.6 home runs. He also has given up a home run in his last three starts. 73 pitches and 16 pitches per inning. He's not going very deep in these games. Like five inning, five and a third, three innings, five and two thirds, seven innings, and then three innings. It's just very inconsistent with Ivaldi. The Royals are three and seven in their last ten, one and three in their last four. Three runs, twelve runs, six runs, five runs. Shut out and a loss, five runs and a loss, one run and a loss, and then three runs in a win today. And they have to fly from Oakland to Texas for tomorrow. The Rangers are four and six in their last ten, one and five in their last six. Five runs, sixteen runs, thirteen runs, eight runs. Shut out and a loss, two runs and a loss, six runs and a loss, and then five runs. In a win. I'm going to take the Rangers with the money line. I will take the Rangers laying the runs. And I'm going to go under. This is only because of all these been winning when he's home. So we'll see if that trend continues. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. And please bet responsibly.